So this question says the sum of two of three numbers is 855. So I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question. And because I'm not given what the numbers are, I'm going to therefore just say X plus Y plus Z equals 855, right? Those are my three numbers, my three unknown numbers, X plus Y plus Z. And of course, is means equals. So the next sentence says one of the numbers X is 50% more than the sum of the other two numbers. So X is, which just means equals, 50% more than the other two numbers, which in my case is Y plus Z. So I just put that in parentheses. Well, how do I translate that into something more mathematical? Well, if X equaled Y plus Z, I would just say X equals Y plus Z. For it to be 50% more than it, it's basically saying, well, if they were equal, they'd be 100% of each other, right? X is 150% more than, or I'm sorry, is 50% more than, which makes it 150% of the value. And I'll prove that. If both value, if you have two, right, 150% of that, so it's multiplying by 1.5, gives you three, right? Three is 50% more than two, right? 50% more. And we got that by multiplying by 1.5. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to say that X is equal to 1.5 times Y plus C, right? So that's how I would translate the fact that X is 50% more than the sum of the other two values, which is Y plus C. So then the question says, what is the value of X? Well, what do I know? I know, and I'll just rewrite it down here. I know that X plus Y plus Z is equal to 855, right? So I know that. And I also know that X is equal to 1.5 times Y plus Z. And I know the question wants me to determine what the value of X is, right? So I don't really want Y plus Z. Well, here's the only space where I have an equation, right? Where I actually have an equal sign. So what do I not like about this equation? Well, I don't like this y plus z here, because so I just want to solve for x. So I'm going to take this equation here, and I'm going to solve for y plus z. You'll see why in a second. So if I were to take my x equals 1.5 times y plus z, divide both sides by 1.5, then what I would get is that y plus z is equal to x divided by 1.5. Now, why is that valuable? Well, because now I can substitute, so right, so since, since I know that y plus z equals x plus, I'm sorry, x divided by 1.5, I can replace y plus z in this equation with x divided by 1.5. So I'd be left with x plus x divided by 1.5, right, replacing the y plus z is equal to 855, right? So this, I just replaced y plus z with x divided by 1.5. Now, in order to combine like terms, which is what I like to do here, and again, notice that my new equation only has the variable x, which means I'm on the right track because that's what I want to solve for. I'm going to call this x over 1. So in order to combine like terms, I need to have a common denominator. So in order to make this first fraction have the same denominator as the second fraction, I need to multiply by 1.5 on top and bottom. So I'd have 1.5x over 1.5 plus x over 1.5 equals 855. Now to combine these, it just becomes 1.5x plus x all over 1.5 equals 855. Well, what is 1.5x plus x? Well, that's just 2.5x, right, over 1.5 equals 855. And now I'm getting very close to my answer because I'm, I want to solve for x, so I multiply both sides by 1.5 so that I can get um, closer to having x alone. 
Let's move over here where I have a little bit more space. So I'd have the 1.5s will cross out. I'd have 2.5x is equal to 855 times 1.5. So I go to my calculator. 855 times 1.5 equals 1,282.5. Then I divide both sides by 2.5. So my calculator again, I divide that by 2.5, and I get that x is equal to 513. So the final answer here is choice 